secure your device by sliding the bracket located at the back downwards onto the clamp of the trolley. Press and hold the chamber lock. Place the chamber on the heater plate with the air inlet facing forward. Slide the chamber forward. The latch will close when the chamber is fully inserted. Insert the water spike into the water bag. Make sure to open the pressure release valve. Rotate counterclockwise to open the filter cover. Place a new filter in the chamber. Rotate clockwise to close and secure the filter cover in place. Connect the integrated heated breathing circuit to the chamber. Secure the connecting cables at the respective ports with the correct colours on the device. Attach the six pin connector on the other end of the connecting cable to the breathing circuit. Select and attach the correct patient interface onto the patient. Do not connect the breathing circuit at this moment. Setup is complete. Plug the appliance into power socket. Press and hold the power button for two seconds to turn on the device. At first startup, enter date and time information. Then select save. Turn the knob to make adjustments and press the knob to confirm. Working mode, upper and lower limits of oxygen concentration, dew point temperature, flow rate and device settings can be accessed from the home screen. Device runtime and presence of SD card will also be displayed. The device turns on in adult mode by default. Unlock the device to make adjustments to device settings. Adjust the upper and lower oxygen concentration limits for safety alarm. Set the target flow rate from 10 to 60 litres per minute for adult mode and between 2 to 25 litres per minute for paediatric mode. Set the dew point temperature ranges from 31 to 37 degrees for an adult and between 31 and 34 degrees for a paediatric patient. If all the steps are followed correctly, you can run the device by pressing the start button. You may want to set the flow rate at 35 litres per minute for an adult and 3 litres per minute for a paediatric patient respectively for more comfort at startup. Slowly increase the flow rate as treatment goes on. Secure the flow meter by tightening the trolley latch. Connect the device to the flow meter with the clear oxygen tube. Connect the flow meter to the appropriate gas supply outlet. Adjust the flow meter for oxygen flow rate between 0 to 70 litres per minute. Wait for the device to warm up until set temperature is reached. Connect the patient interface. Do not allow the heated breathing circuit to come into direct contact with the patient's skin for an extended period of time. O2 flow must stop running for changes to be made to the machine settings. When the unit stops, rotate the control knob to highlight the setting icon. Press the control knob to bring up the settings menu. User may change time, language and volume settings, as well as accessing alarm history, device setting record and information in the settings icon from the main screen. Select and highlight history. Press the control knob to enter history page. Select events from this page. Press the control knob to corresponding item. In events page, up to 100 most recent records of change in settings or operating status can be retrieved. In alarm history page, up to 100 most recent alarm records can be retrieved. 
To access the SD card, open the cover and press on the card. The SD card will be ejected. Refer to page 29 to 32 of the O2 Flow Operator's Manual for instructions to operate the software. Please visit our webpage for accessories list and technical information.